Hey, this is Linus, what's up? You know, I've reviewed quite a few wireless projectors over the time and they were okay for the price, but the one made by Apetech is truly unique because it's a power bank, it's a projector, and it's a Windows 10 tablet. Let's begin. These are actually three separate devices that come in different boxes. You can purchase each of them individually or buy a deluxe bundle that costs about 800 bucks, but it offers a lot of cool features. The iBeam block includes a wireless projector, a battery to power it up, and quite a powerful Windows 10 tablet to control the entire system. Each of the block can be connected seamlessly using strong magnetic pogo pins, which is just awesome, but the Aptek projector can also work independently. The item ships with a DC adapter, so you can use the mains power. There is also the HDMI cable included, and I had no issues projecting my MacBook's display to the wall. There were no projection delays, no lag whatsoever. If you prefer portability, you will be surprised that the entire setup is very compact and lightweight given the overall feature set, but more on that later on. The projector, same as the other blocks, is made of metal and it feels really sturdy and premium. The bulb has 400 lumens of brightness and that is plenty enough in most of the lighting conditions, whether you use it on a white wall or on a dark textured wood. Most importantly, the image is sharp and detailed thanks to the 720p resolution with an image diagonal of up to 128 inch or 305 centimeters. I watched a few movies, sports, I read a few documents and presentations and so on. The projected image looks so much better than on any other wireless projector I have ever tested. There is no autofocus feature but it takes just a second to adjust focus manually. The auto keystone feature adjusts the angle of the image automatically. There are a few control buttons that I didn't really use as I was happy with the image quality out of the box and I control the volume from a tablet. Speaking of sound, the Aptac projector has built-in speakers, which are okay given the size of the device but you can always connect Bluetooth speaker for more immersive sound. There are ventilation grills all around the device to cool that powerful bulb down, but in general, the projector is quite silent. Besides the HDMI and DC in parts, there is a headset jack and a power button. A 13,200 mAh power bank unit will let you use the projector with a tablet attached for about 2 hours, which is a great result considering all the power-hungry features. You can also charge your smartphone with this power bank and it has these nice LED lights that indicate the amount of juice left in the battery. One of the most interesting components is obviously the tablet that runs on a full version of Windows 10. A 4.5 inch 720p display is plenty sharp for everyday use but if you find it too small for Windows platform, you can simply connect a Bluetooth keyboard with the integrated trackpad. The one that I use is made by one by one and I will leave a link as well as any other product links down below in the video description. You can also connect other devices using the USB or micro USB ports or expand 32GB of internal storage via the micro SD card slot. A quad-core Intel Z3735F chipset may not be the most powerful on the market but I found the tablet to be responsive and fast most of the time. It can also handle some 3D games like Asphalt 8 on the very highest graphics settings, which is quite impressive considering the fact that the tablet was not designed for gamers. All in all, the Aptek iBeam Block L400 Deluxe is a truly unique and innovative product that I found to be working absolutely fine and I've been using it for a couple of months now. 
Sure, the price tag may seem steep for some, but you get what you pay for. For about 800 bucks, you're basically getting three separate devices that work seamlessly once connected. Also, all the blocks still look as new after a few months. Image looks sharp on all surfaces and in most of the lighting conditions I tested. And finally, the Windows 10 tablet is powerful enough for my needs. However, I wish the projector used the micro USB power for charging, but that's just a minor complaint. At the end of the day, the Aptek projector may not be the cheapest device out there, but it offers a premium experience that is worth the price. What do you guys think about this Aptek projector? Would you buy it or not? As always, let me guys know in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel and if you like my videos. And finally, if you want to get all the latest updates, please follow Techline HD on social media, like on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. See you in the next video soon.